I was actually told not to even run for a bus in case I collapsed and died, so that was really terrifying to hear. When she was nine, Shannon started blacking out and collapsing. It took five years to work out she has a heart problem which could kill her at any time if left untreated. Her family had genetic testing, which revealed her dad has the condition too. We were both sort of ticking time bombs. Like We still could have collapsed and had a cardiac arrest and died. And unfortunately with these things, it wouldn't actually show up in a post-mortem. And now we've both got the opportunity to have life-saving treatment. Now, research funded by the British Heart Foundation has developed a single test that can diagnose 17 different inherited heart conditions. DNA removed from a blood sample is analysed by this machine. The whole process takes just five days. Until now, finding the faulty DNA responsible for an inherited heart condition would take a battery of time-consuming, expensive tests. This new method does it all in one go, simultaneously looking through 174 different genes to find the mistake. Each year, more than 600 people under 35 die unexpectedly from a heart condition they never knew they had. The researchers hope their test will help identify more of those at risk. For the patient affected, the real win is a refined diagnosis and a um, more precise treatment plan. Uh, but the biggest win is for the rest of the family, uh, for whom we can potentially replace a lifetime of surveillance and long-term follow-up with a quick genetic test. For Shannon, it'll mean the certainty of not passing on her heart problem when she starts a family. Now when I have children, they can sort of pre-screen my embryos and I'll know that I can have healthy children and not pass on the potential for them to have a cardiac arrest. Peace of mind. Definitely, hugely. I wouldn't want anyone to go through this. It's thought half a million people in the UK have an inherited heart problem. Now it's become easier to identify them. Catherine Jones, 5 News.